Walking along the cycle path at the side, you can actually uh, see how the railway was once broad gauge. Just up up here, the um, not much to see really, just a bit of old track. Um, a lot of it's covered by brambles, which I guess would um, stop any rail bike or something. This is quite a good piece. You can actually see the uh, where the line went. Even a bit of ballast actually down there. But yeah, still metal sleepers, no wooden ones yet. It's interesting, I've never seen uh, metal sleepers on a, on a railway line before in England. Actually, just concrete or, or wooden. And over here we have a, uh, a broad gauge bridge, which is quite wide. Um, the track still goes underneath it. It's um, quite interesting. You can barely make out the track through the bushes there. Uh, I'm having trouble. Uh, or oh, in front of the track, here's a, an old map of the um, the old route. As you can see, we're here, and the um, the railway line actually went from Froome here and Watley uh, up to Radstock, and about half a mile from Radstock, the the track has actually been totally ruined and pulled up in way for housing. So uh, whether they'll actually pull all of this up don't actually know. As you can see here, uh, the actual name of the bridge, I don't know if you can see it from here, I don't think so. It's actually called Conduit Bridge. Why Conduit Bridge? I'm not really sure, but I don't think you can see how the track only takes up about uh, half of the bridge. I mean, uh, whether the whether the track was um, broad gauge, I think it was, or um, whether there were originally two tracks, I'm not sure, but it looks like a broad bridge. There isn't much smoke damage. There's not many trains. Well, I'm sure a lot of trains, but not very much evidence of trains. On top of the bridge here, uh, see it's a uh, limestone. Very nice design. Um, look down here, you can see the track. Down there. If we come over the other side of the bridge, um, you can see the entire um, stretch goes on, and then curve in the distance. The track is almost invisible here, you can't see anything. Hey, now this is, this is a brilliant thing I've just found. As you can see, I'm at, uh, I'm at the uh, old site of, well, you probably don't, but I'm actually at the old site of Mel's Road Station, which is a station that's at the village of Mel's, even though it's uh, about two and a half miles in that direction. And uh, as you can see, it was dual track. Uh, it was a passing loop, one of the only passing loops on the line. Uh, and when I was walking along, I just <laughs> came across this old um, GWR brake van. Or, or brake van, yeah. And um, as you can see, <laughs> wow, all the floor is rotted away, but I mean, the main frame is still here. Uh, everything, the wheels, the springs, uh, you see the old track there, everything's gone. Uh, but this still remains. I mean, I'm not sure why they didn't just have to, oh, look, look at that. An old, the old brake um, crank, still there. Um, I think this is a fantastic discovery. I'm, I, I'm sure lots of people know about it, but wow. Uh, I wasn't expecting to find this. It's brilliant, and if I just jump down here, show it from the outside. Um, the uh, <laughs> look at that. It's a um. All the doors are still working. Everything's well. I don't think it will work nowadays, but still, you got the uh, springs, you got the wheels. Everything is everything is still here. Um. The doors, the number. This was a PR number 4919. And it says it's a British Rail 4990, uh, uh, 4349 through 4319. Yeah, <laughs> look at that. The, um, the coupling hook is still there. Uh, and some of the, the equipment for the brakes. I mean, wow, look, look at this, it's just turning to rust, but still, I'm very pleased with what I found here. This has made my day. Uh, yeah, a uh, GWR brake van. I mean, wow.
Who'd expect to see this here? Disused railway line, there's still a piece of rolling stock on it. There it is just from far away, you can see it's still sitting there. I wonder what lines this used to go on. <laughs> anyway, so you can see the tracks still there. Here we have some of the old points at um, Mel's Road Station. Again, in the background you can see the brake van. Um, they look in fairly good condition. The, the sleepers are actually wooden here, unlike the metal ones I showed earlier in the video. Uh, no levers, but some spare track there. This is all British Rail, British Rail track. I can't see any GWR markings. And there, I believe that that, that is part of the platform. Or part of the building, I have no idea because there's no platform left, but still, you can see the um, points look like they would work. Unfortunately, there's no lever. So yeah, and now the sleepers have changed to concrete, see, wooden, concrete. So yeah, concrete sleepers. I have no idea what else there is here, but yeah. Interesting here, you can see some of the old telegraph poles at um, Mel's Road Station. Taken down and just dumped next to the track. Uh, up here, I think I've found something else that's quite interesting. Again, here you can see some more uh, more track, but interestingly, if we come along here, I believe I found um, Mel's ground frame. I mean, it seems in the the correct position for a ground frame. Uh, the door is open. I'm going to go inside. It looks like it's been converted to somewhat of a shed. Um, I'm not sure if you can see because it's very dark, but I can't see any point levers uh, or um, or turnout levers. Uh, whew, Jesus, is that asbestos? Um, tables overturned, lots of sleepers, it could well be. Or it could be a permanent way cabin, it doesn't look like one. And uh, on the outside of the ground frame, um, you can see the window. Uh, a lot of uh, plant growing on it. And as I say, I think, I'm sure this is a ground frame, also at least something to do with the railway because of its proximity to the station site, you can see there. Um, the old platform, I believe, was there, or possibly another track. I don't think it was another track. And the track here, lovely and clear. Um, you can even... Wow, we have an original wooden... I don't know what they're called. But, yeah, they're wooden, and they keep the track in place. And it's surprising to see them still there after 40 years of... Um, probably 40 years since they were actually replaced. Uh, some of them are missing, some of them are metal, but... Very interesting. Also, if you, you can see the curve of the track at Mel's. Mel's, uh... So, this is very interesting. Um, the, the, the sleepers are, again, concrete. Uh, I can't see any markings on them. But, ooh, here we go. Ah, oh, this is a good end. This is interesting. We have uh, GWR. That's um, Great Western Railway. Wow, that's, that's, that's nice. Now, so we have confirmation that this obviously was a GWR line. And this is one of the original um, track or what is used to hold the track in place. Uh, also, there, there's another one next to it, British Railways. So, obviously, that one was added after the nationalisation in the 1940s. And here we have the um, the old railway crossing at Mel's Road. Still looks fantastic. Fantastic condition, maybe a bit uh, rusty. And into the distance, the track fades away into an overgrowth. Anyway, this was uh, Mel's Road Station, and I hope you've enjoyed the video. This is the uh, bridge looking over into um, Mel's Road Station. Um, if I look on the side, heading towards uh, Froome, um, you can just see the track down there. Not much to see, really. Um, go on to the other side. Uh, the other side, wow, look at that. The track has changed the side of the uh, footpath. Um, and it's now on the same side as it was at Conduit Bridge again. This is a broad gauge bridge, I believe. Um, because of its width and the fact that there's only one track going through it. But look at that, I mean it's still there, all covered with green ribbon. Oh, I'm pleased.